Hi, and welcome to Go Figure News presentation on Go TV. Today, we're taking a closer look at these chibis. They come from a company out of Iowa called Bullseye Toy, and I contacted them after I saw a few figures in Target of all places. We're going to take a look at these chibis, and they are individually wrapped. So let's start right here with the Forever Evil pack from DC Comics. Each one of these uh, comes in a really nice, colorful pack. Uh, they have three figures inside, which is actually really nice, especially for those that like to trade these. It says age of six and up, and I guarantee these are good for uh, most kids that aren't prone to eating little things and definitely um, great for adults, that's for sure. This is what you might get inside, and as you can see, um, it ranges from a lot of different characters. We're gonna take a look and see what we got. The foil packet's pretty full inside. As I just pointed out, you get this little booklet. On one side, it tells you about the wind-ups, and then on the back, it's a really nice color printout. Evil is a relative of all the particular figures that you might get. So, let's see who we did in fact get. Okay, it starts with Merlin. Merlin has his bow. You might be familiar with another figure who this might be relative to. Speaking of relative, I sort of like that. These are relatives, I guess of the DC comic figures. Let's see who is next in our chibi pack. Inside, next we have, who is this guy? I guess he might be Power Ring. As you can see, the quality is really nice. They have a similarity to Legos, but not, not quite obviously, because instead of pegs, they have a flat bottom, which helps them stand up nicely. There's no articulation. You wouldn't expect that in these little plastic figures. But the paint is really, really nice. I mean, this is really close up. And as you can see, the quality, I mean, you can see my fingers pretty well. So voila, we have the delightful, who is this? This is Red Arrow. So these two guys are probably going to have to pair off somehow in the woods. And because Bullseye Toys sent me two packets, uh, I didn't. I opened these previously just to see if I would get some doubles, but in fact, I didn't even get a single double. Two packets and six different figures. So of the 12, I already have half of the figures. So here they are all together. Let's see what they look like as a group. They look like a, a Motley Crew. It's a pretty cool package. Next up is everybody's favorite show, but mine. I'm sort of in the uh, minority here, Walking Dead. Uh, it's from series two, though I do like the characters and I do like the figures, surprisingly. Uh, don't watch the show, but I like some of the, uh, the, the toys and and action figures that are out there. In these packets, it's slightly different. Instead of 12 figures, you can possibly get uh, these 10. However, uh, it's added to because, in fact, they have all sorts of variants mixed in. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, one character, one walker, and one translucent walker per pack. So let's see what we got in this one. Here we go. We have a really nice array of characters here. But that's not all, folks. Check it out. The never-ending collection of characters. It's a movie reel unto itself. Let's take a look. What do we got? Oh, the first thing we got was a translucent figure. And let's get a close-up of that. Okay, these are pretty cool. They're like the Invisible Men. I've not seen any translucent Walking Dead figures, so I actually 
and pleased with this. You see a little pearl in the center. Otherwise, this is uh, this is pretty clear. Uh, the the seams aren't bad at all. You don't even really see them. Uh, and the sculpt is uh, stout, and it looks pretty glassy. I uh, I approve. So that's one of the invisible walkers. It's scary to have an invisible walker, huh? And then this looks like. Uh, what do you think? Is that Carol? I think it looks like Carol's hair. So they have a nice flat bottom so they stand easily. But lastly, we have another walker. And the walkers all have names, but they pretty much have numbers. They're numbered. <laughs> Not unlike that number in the back. Um, and that's not their prisoner number or anything like that. So here they are together. And wonderful situation happens yet again. Here's the three I got in that pack. Here is the other two I got. And then finally, I got my favorite, Tyrese. So again, not a single double. So this is a uh, great odds in these chibis. And moving right along, we have the Justice League chibis. This is also three per pack. And in here, we have a whole bunch of different familiar characters like Aquaman and Shazam and Green Arrow, Wonder Woman, Supergirl. It's good to see Supergirl with the TV show coming up. So we're going to open up the Justice League, one of my favorite shows when I was a kid, the original cartoon. And here we go. Here's the packet, the checklist. Wow, the graphics are really, really nice. Clean, strong, bold. Okay. So let's see who we get. First up, so here's Shazam. Get a close up so that you can see the quality. You can see that the uh, the decals or the paint that they've done, that these are definitely decals, because I don't think anyone could paint that small. Uh, you know, that's the size of my thumb there, so it'd be interesting to see <laughs> if there was little teeny tiny fingers. Uh, but it looks like other parts might be painted, like that gold looks like it might be painted, but it looks pretty, pretty clean. Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. That's right. That, my friends, is what you call a serious cyclops. Wow, look at the sculpt. This thing is like an inch tall. <laughs> it might be a, an inch or maybe a little bit more than an inch. I think this is supersonic. I don't know what else to say. And then lastly, in the Justice League group, oh, excellent, excellent. I couldn't have hoped for something better. I love the idea that Supergirl is making a comeback. And I like this, uh, this particular flying pose. Um, the face is very reminiscent of a, of a Lego or a happy face. Um, it's kind of silly in a way, but the body is really small comparatively with like Cyclops, who's got big chunky legs, which of course in reality, you know, people don't look like that. But these are people, these are superheroes, my friends. There you go. There's some of your Justice League. Not your traditional Justice League, obviously. And finally, we have the DC Universe figures, Collect All 12, also a three pack. Inside, you might get uh, Justice League and the DC Universe. Looks like the same characters, pretty much, but maybe there's some surprises. It looks as though, um, yeah, they match. So let's see what we get in here. Hopefully, will continue to not get any doubles. Let's see if the little booklet's any different. Ah, the booklet looks like it might be different as well because this one says Justice League 
and this one says DC Universe. But I think the contents are pretty much the same. And it looks as though that's true. However, you will notice a difference in the printing. One is a kind of a darker version, and one is a lighter version. First up, we have Hawkman. Cool. So first out of the packet, no double. I like Hawkman. He's super cool. He doesn't get enough uh, airplay. Good mask. Next we have Aquaman. Aquaman was one of my favorite TV shows as a kid. Uh, what was that? Patrick Duffy, I think. And uh, here's his underwater staff. Similar face to uh, Supergirl. Here she is again. They're uh, brother and sister from a different mother. And not leastly is Green Lantern. So Green Lantern is a super cool character. Um, I've actually um, not seen a film or a TV show that I really loved, but this is the sculpt here. And then from the other set, the, uh, the Forever Evil set came kind of his, uh, his evil twin or brother or what have you. And uh, so they look kind of nice together.